already done that. So I'm just going to close this out and close this out as well. And minimize this. Now, back inside Photoshop. What we've actually done, I'm going to turn my slices off here by hitting control semicolon. Oh, that's my guides. Oops, all my guides. View, show, slices. We'll just get that. Alright, I'm going to reposition my guides here to kind of show you the effect that we're going for. And let's see. Let's bring this up a little bit. Let's bring this up a little bit. Somewhere there. And let's do one more here. Get rid of these. Okay. This is this is <clears throat> if we were to call this a table layout, a table look. This is all we need. This one right here is going to be a header. Just disregard that right there, as well as this right here. This is going to be a header. This is going to be a footer. This is going to be my navigation bar, of course. It would come up to here or whatever. You get the idea. This will be my navigation bar, and then this is going to be where my content is going to go. Okay? Now, we're going to create this you know, overall layout here in Dreamweaver. This is what we're going to create. Now we have some extra images that we're going to use, one of them being this particular image without the text on it, like this, and without the footer. This is the extra image. This is the image that we didn't have in our or close in our two uh, layouts that Photoshop created for us. That's what's missing is the background image. We don't have that. We didn't have a background image. So, once we get inside Dreamweaver, I'll show you guys how to create that background image and how to apply it using CSS, because you can't do it with a table. So, we'll take a look at that. Uh, that, that pretty much wraps up generating an HTML page uh, inside of Photoshop. I don't recommend that you do it that way. I don't recommend that you use Photoshop to create an HTML page. It's just not a good idea, I don't think. I don't like the way it does it. You have to go in and make all kinds of crazy tweaks to it and change it around. I just like generating the page on my own, creating it you know, for myself. So that wraps up this set of videos. Right now I'm looking at 33 minutes for all of them. So it'll be you know, a little over three videos. Um, yeah, so that takes care of that. Uh, if you guys got any questions, by any means, shoot me an email, leave a message on my uh, YouTube channel and I'll, I'll get back to you. Alright, so in the next video, we'll actually be inside of Dreamweaver, and I'll go over some HTML, XHTML uh, coding and some CSS uh, information and things of that nature to help you guys out along those lines. Alright, so see you in the next video.